Happy Thursday, this is Kevin with Transition Pittsburgh and we are here in East Liberty checking out the Borland Gardens. So what's happening here? Welcome to the Borland Garden. Thank you. And this is a project that started this spring and we have about a third of an acre here. Beautiful. And it was an abandoned lot that was just more or less a dump for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, G-Tech has used the lot for several years to help clear the lot and they grew some sunflowers here mm -hmm. and their hope was to have somebody come along and nurture this space after them and that's what we're doing now. Nice. So there are uh, seven households who live in the row house over here and uh, we are all part of the garden and we're inviting the neighborhood also to participate in the garden. So our hope is to have uh, nutritional, environmental, uh, and education for people in the neighborhood and invite people to events within the garden and provide a little bit of food there's not going to be it's uh -huh. not a production garden uh -huh. but uh, there'll be the garden here and there'll be a food forest we'll be planting this fall so a lot of the area here that has been mulched that has the wood chips down will be uh, planted this fall with fruit and nut trees so we're hoping to have over a dozen fruit trees here Wonderful. and then we'll have understory plantings and we'll be using uh, Permaculture, uh, permaculture. <laughs> to, uh, to grow the, the foods here. So we'll have berry bushes and uh, in the understory planting, rhubarb, uh, strawberries, and possibly even uh, cranberries. Wonderful. And then in the lower garden, we'll have more native trees. So it'll be pawpaws and mulberries and trees that would have been native to the area. You may be able to find a few. Uh, native uh, apple varieties are still available and things like that. Nice. So there'll be sort of a, a transition between what was here and now what is produced in, in orchards and things around I the see. area. And there'll be also the, the food garden. We started a little bit of a garden this year. Cool. And we did the Three Sisters planting, which is the Native American planting of corn, squash, and beans. The corn is planted and then the beans are planted next and they crawl up the corn plant and the squash uh, are planted in alternate mounds and they cover the ground and mulch the soil I to see. keep the moisture in. So and it's a symbiotic relationship yes. of the various plants. That's so cool. Next year we hope to have more of a variety in the garden, but this year we got a late start and uh, a difficult uh, digging at the soil with a lot of building foundations. A lot of rocks. Like so yes, we uh, decided this was the option that we would choose for this year. So we can show something happening here. Cool. Can we check out the, the vision plan? Sure. So our, our hope, these are plans that were done by Pashik and Associates through a grant that we had received. And in the top picture here is sort of an overview of the garden, with the vegetable garden here, the food forest surrounding it, and in the lower garden down here is the uh, native plant food forest. Uh, there'll be a, a cistern, hopefully right here, and a uh, garden shed with a chicken coop in that area. This is uh, hopefully a bio shelter, and this would be our uh, community kitchen, outdoor kitchen area. Wow. There'll be a carport along the side of the house here that will be the it will house uh, vines, grapes, and hardy kiwis and mm. things like that. So uh, we're hoping to have. Oh, there'll also be a butterfly uh, garden. There's a little hill down in this area, and there'll be a butterfly habitat down there. And we're hoping also to have uh, several beehives to help pollination of the fruits and vegetables. Wonderful. So we're looking for people who are interested in participating, mm -hmm. and uh, that's sort of our vision. <laughs> Is there a website people could check out? Yes, and I do not know it. Well, I can hand. post the link okay. to it in the link that's, box that's once great. we get it. Thank you, Kevin. Absolutely. Yeah, this is an incredible drawing and vision of, of what's to be very soon. The Borland Garden, a sustainable urban garden space. And check out these drawers. Are these from Construction Junction? Yes, they are. Nice. <laughs> Refurbishing a little bed. That is so cool. So yeah, today we had a work day here and there was a ton of volunteers thanks to the whole Mennonite community brought out about 20, about 20. Tw 20 people to help. We did all this lasagna sheet mulching covering this whole area here 
and um, some great folks from G Tech. Happy Thursday, G Tech! All right, shall we just walk around a little bit more and sure. get some close-ups of any other things you want to highlight? Happy Thursday. Anything you want to share with the camera about Borland Gardens? It's the greatest. It's the greatest. <laughs> this is the corn, beans, and squash Ken was it's explaining. Just planting here. Yeah. We're sort of struggling a little bit. We don't have any any running water, so we're depending on some rain barrels. And uh -huh. uh, Mother Nature has cooperated pretty well until last week when we had a dry spell. But uh, I see. we have the rain barrels filled up again right now. Cool. Here's the steaming pile of mulch that I was helping to shovel earlier. Yeah, we've had uh, I think about five truckloads of compost and four truckloads of uh, wood chips dumped here. So we've been incorporating those into the garden and we're using yeah. them to sheet mulch to hold the weeds down. And hopefully by this fall when we do the tree planting, we'll have smothered all of the, the weeds beneath and we'll have improved the soil somewhat. Absolutely. And this will be the, the lower garden down through the trees here. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, we're, we're calling it the great lawn. It's not really all that big, but it's gonna be our lawn space and it'll be surrounded with uh, another edible food forest, which would be the native, mm -hmm. the, the native plant. So a gathering space for perhaps drum circles or things of that sort. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So overall, it's a it's a nice space. There'll be a few trees here that uh, are going to come down. There's a few dead trees in the area, so there'll be a little bit more light and air circulating in the area once we uh, work on some of the, the bad trees. But we're keeping the large, the larger trees, and then, it's like I said, the surrounding this area where there's burdock right now will be in another food food forest. Wow, a forest of food! I can't wait. Yeah, folks, were some wonderful folks from Transition and G Tech were collaborating on pulling burdock root and knotweed all morning. So thank you to them and. Any closing remarks? That's it. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for your assistance today and Absolutely. hope to see you around some more. Absolutely. Happy Thursday. Check out transitionpgh.org. We could perhaps post the events of the work days here on there, but uh, please come on out. This is located on Black Street and North Beatty, right behind Peabody High School in East Liberty. So have a happy Thursday. The transition is now!